Hello there and welcome. In this mission we're going to start tackling the Wyvern Corporation, who are the main bad guys in downtown. Uh, they have a very large compound and as such there are three different locations uh, in their compound that we need to infiltrate. Uh, this video will cover the first of them, which is the docking and storage area. If you're a completionist or you just want to make life easier for yourself, you can buy some information uh, before we tackle the compound, and if you do that, then there are, it unlocks an extra couple of side missions. One of which is bribing this guy uh, here, uh, which will uh, slow down the security cameras inside the compound, uh, reduce their speed by 50%. Now, uh, just as an aside, uh, I'm going to hijack this civilian. It's not actually part of the mission, uh, but the game is prompting me to do it uh, so that we can learn about hijacking. So I'm just going to take care of that now. Uh, the reason that we would hijack civilians is in order to uh, have better clones for our agents. Uh, so that's just what I've done. I generally don't hijack uh, civilians though because guards and soldiers make much better clones. And uh, hijacking is a very useful ability later in the game, uh, once you uh, increase its levels, and uh, there are five different hijacking levels, you can hijack more people at once, and uh, you can build up a small army of, of uh, enemy guards to fight alongside you if you want, or create a distraction, and that can be very useful. Uh, but I'm not going to use it too much at the moment. The second side mission is to assassinate a doctor, uh, which seems terribly unfair, uh, but that's life in the big city. Uh, it should be noted that both the uh, technician that we bribed in the first part and the doctor that we're going to assassinate uh, can be in different locations and not always in the same place. So that's him sitting on the bench and for some reason I can't target him when he sat down. Uh, so <laughs> my agents are just crouching there doing nothing which looks really weird. Uh, but never mind. Uh, there's an ATM uh, which you can see, which I haven't hacked yet, so I'll get my hacker to do that. In fact, yeah, let's get him to do that now. And just wait for the guy to move off the bench so we can pop a cap in his ass. Get him! Yeah, boom. You're dead. Uh, unfortunately, the guards do spot me here and start shooting the crap out of me. Uh, but instead of firing back, I'm just going to run away like a wuss uh, to a nearby relay station. Because <clears throat> relay stations act as uh, health and recharge points. They will refill your ammo and your energy and armor if you've got it and everything else. Uh, and you can usually hide from guards uh, in a relay station too because they're not generally out in the street. So that's what I'm going to do. Run away! When danger reared his ugly head, brave Sir Robin turned and fled. Brave, 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 brave Sir Robin. Did you like that? That was from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. So now our alert stasis has disappeared, we've managed to successfully hide from the guards, so we can safely wander past them, and they won't twig that we are clearly the same people they were shooting at a few moments ago. And there's the side entrance that we're going to uh, go in, into the compound, and uh, don't mind us, yeah, totally not the same guys you were shooting at, totally not the same. Any researchers? Give me some researchers. No. Okay, I think in the next mission we're going to have to go out and find researchers. Because we definitely need a couple more, because we're going to have more weapons and gear to research. So we need uh, as many as possible. But anyway, uh, the easiest way to get into the Wyvern compound is using that side entrance. Because uh, there's no security cameras or anything. And uh, there are a couple of guards that patrol that area, but they're not there now, so we can make a run for it. Uh, the guards that do patrol that area won't go as far as this walkway or down the stairs. Uh, so there's a metal wall uh, just to the right of the stairs that we can hide behind 
and uh, no one will actually spot us. We can hide there pretty effectively for as long as we want because there are guards patrolling along the road but they don't come down as far as the stairs. There's a uh, raised platform to the left of here which has a security panel for the cameras uh, so we're going to send our hacker up there to turn them off because uh, that will make things a bit easier but we need to be patient because uh, that area there you can see the security panel uh, with the purple camera symbol on it uh, there are guards that patrol along here in fact there are two sets of two guards that wander up around the stairs and come down the other side and then there's another lone guard that goes in the opposite direction uh, so this is where we play the waiting game and uh, there's a zip wire that you could use to reach one of the security panels uh, but I'm not going to because it's still risky because we don't have the zip claw yet so chances are that our agent would fall off the zip uh, wire before he ever, ever gets close to the end uh, there's the first set of two guards that are moving away uh, but there's the fifth one moving towards us and there's the other two uh, guarding the drone this time So they're moving away, and we're still stuck behind that wall. Uh, but we're still building up experience, so it's actually a good thing. And once those two have moved away, then I can send the hacker up. Turn off those damn cameras. Okay, um, yeah, I think I go a bit mad here. I started using my support agent. I was going to uh, make him run up uh, towards the side door to get onto the roof of that building so he can access one of the security panels. But it's uh, tricky to do when the cameras are still on. So uh, I'm just going to hide him back. And... I think now I can send my hacker. Let's go for it. As long as they don't turn around, it should be fine. They're going to go back up the stairs, uh, but they're going up the other stairs. So I should... I'll be able to turn off the uh, control panel before they ever get to me. And then send him back down. And... I can hide him behind this wall here until the other security guards move a bit further along the road. And I'm not actually going to send him back to my other agents. I'm going to send him over into the top corner here because there is one of the security panels that I need to access uh, to unlock the door for the storage compound. And now I can send my support agent up as well. And now we can send the hacker back, but uh, it's a little bit tricky here because the other guards could spot me. So I'm going to play it safe and go around the stairs instead of just making a run straight back to my people. Okay, this is where we start using our infiltrator. I'll turn off the uh, security cameras again, just to make sure they don't come back on a, an inopportune moment. And, yeah, let's make a run for it. Which way is this guard going to go? Okay, good, he went the right way. So I'll get the hacker back safely behind the wall. Send out the infiltrator to do his thing. And the other security panel is right next to the door. So our infiltrator can get that one. And uh, I'll send the support agent back 
There's, there's no guards around him at the moment, so he should be able to safely make it back. Oh crap, there are two guards. I think they spot me. Yep, yeah, they spotted me. But if I run away quickly enough... There, there's the door unlocked because we've got all three panels. So, um... Yep, the guards have thankfully... Not twigged. Okay. Uh, so we've got the prototype, we've infiltrated the compound, and I'll just use cloak. Just to make sure I'm not spotted. Now we've got some extra cash as well, because the infiltrator always steals money when he breaches a compound. And we've got a bunch of new skill points to spend as well. So now we just need to make it back outside. And back the same way we came in. And uh, the hell with it, I'll just make a run for it. And yeah, we get spotted, we get spotted, but doesn't matter. Just run to the relay beacon. Run really, really slowly, because we're out of stamina. But yeah, that's it. We've We've got it. And it's done. That's it for this video, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.